Hello, my lovely Virgos. Um, so guys, normally I do the next 48, but I'm going to be traveling the beginning of next week, so I've decided to just knock out um, the next 72 hours, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, okay? November 4th, 5th, and 6th. Um, so Virgos, a couple of people left comments um, on my last readings that I posted um, about the fact that I lay out the cards as I'm making announcements. Um, I just wanted you guys to know that the cards are all pre-shuffled and saged and meditated over before I even start the video. Um, so it doesn't affect the message in any way, okay? I just do that to kill time because then it takes too long and then people start to complain that it takes too long. So. Let's go ahead and get started, Virgo. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do a quick sh uh, shuffle on camera. I'll go over uh, a couple of really quick announcements, and then we're going to go over the messages that I picked up on your pre-shuffle, okay? <sighs> Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides, what messages do we have for my Virgos, please? November 4th, 5th, and 6th. What messages do we have regarding love between my Virgos and their person, please? What clarity and guidance can we bring to my Virgos, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. What messages do my Virgos need to hear today, please? Holy Spirit. Okay. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. What messages do we have for my Virgos and regarding love, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. What clarity and guidance can we give to my Virgos for November 4th, 5th, and 6th in regards to love? What clarity, guidance, what messages do my Virgos need to hear in regards to love between them and the connection that they're currently in, please, Holy Spirit? What messages do my Virgos need to hear today for November 4th, 5th, and 6th? Okay, guys. All right, so Virgo, if you're currently um, subscribed, welcome back. If you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to click that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner underneath this reading or video. I do choose multiple winners every month for free readings, um, and I give away tarot cards and oracle cards. The winners are always announced in the monthly readings, okay? And um, if you click that notification bell, you'll be notified for when those post to see if you've worn anything, all right? Now, um, I am taking personal readings. The um, holiday special has started early, so you're getting $10 off a 15-minute reading, $20 off a 30-minute reading. And guys, if you go to my website, you could also see I do offer specialized readings, okay? Um, like past life readings, twin flame journey readings, okay? So my website is www.thetaroflight.com, okay? Now, um, what else did I want to tell you? I think that's it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on the pre-shuffle. Guys, Virgos, my dears, I don't know if it's you or I don't know if it's your person, but someone here is getting tired of cheating, okay? Someone here is really getting tired of cheating. They're getting tired of lying. They're getting tired of being deceitful, okay? Um, now, this could be, you could be dealing with the mother of your child. You could be dealing with the father of your child, or you could be getting tired of somebody's lying, cheating, and deceitful behavior, okay? So it's vice versa. Um, I am seeing that for some of you, you may have a past life soulmate that's coming in, someone that you see as your wish fulfillment. Um, this is a very new connection, and I'm sensing that a lot of you are wanting transformation. You're wanting change in your life, okay? And you guys are doing a lot of soul searching and contemplating about this. Now, Virgo, your, uh, the messages I picked up on the pre-shuffle may or may not resonate with the actual reading. Um, so those messages may be for, even if it's one person, um, that is the message I picked up on the pre-shuffle. So let's go ahead and see what we have for the, um, the actual reading. So we have the King of Swords under the deck, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Um, I'm going to start with you on this side, Virgo, and your person on this side. It is a general reading, so if it resonates backwards or vice versa, feel free to flip it, twist it, reverse it. That's fine, okay? Um, if it doesn't resonate at all, it's simply not your message, okay? That's it. That's very simple. Um, so Virgo, here we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, and pay attention to the red flags. Interesting. All right, let's see what we have going on. So we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Sun, the Five of Swords, 
the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and the Three of Swords, Virgo. Yeah, Virgos. I am seeing that you guys are walking away. You're walking away. Um, Virgo, I feel that for quite a few of you, it could be you that's been doing the lying or the cheating, or you're walking away from this person that's been lying and cheating on you. And I feel that you're doing this because you want something deeper. You want a deeper commitment. You're done with the lying, the cheating, the games. You're just done with it. We have you in a pre-empress mode here. So you could be leaving to move towards this nine of pentacles. Someone who's single, stable, financially independent. Um, and I do see that this person, you know, brings you a lot of joy and happiness. We have Leo energy here. I do feel that this person really brings you a lot of happiness. And you are willing to walk away from the third party to move towards this person, Virgo. Okay, you are willing to walk away and, and move to because you're tired of the heartache. You're willing to move towards this third party. Or this can be vice versa, guys. Or it could just be that, you know, you guys are walking away from somebody who's lying, cheating, and hurting you. And you guys would just rather be single, okay? You would rather just be single and you're happier alone and you don't want to deal with the heartache anymore. OK, with pay attention to the red flags, I'm seeing here that, you know, Virgo, you're really coming to the realization that you are unbelievably unhappy and that you want to choose just one and you want to choose the one that makes you the happiest. Or for those of you that are getting cheated on, you want to just choose yourself. You're seeing the red flags. You're seeing that this person is not being honest and you just want to move on. All right. So let's see here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, why is the Seven of Swords here? Queen of Cups, okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So there could be emotional cheating happening here where your person isn't physically um, sleeping with the person, okay? The Queen of Cups is also a wife energy and a mother energy. So again, um, you may be feeling like... Um, they're cheating with their ex-wife or the mother of their children, the father of their children, their ex-husband. I feel like you feel like this, this person is emotionally trying to hurt you. Like they're emotionally... Yeah, they're emotionally trying to hurt you. For some of you, I just picked up on this message, for some of you, you may have a Cancer Scorpio Pisces that's just picking up and moving towards you. That's why we have engagement here. For some of you, this could be that new person that makes you happy. Or for some of you, you could be cheating with this Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here, please, Spirit? Yeah, no, I feel like this is, this is your healing angel. Uh, Virgo, I feel like you have somebody coming in um, or you, you have someone in your life, could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, that uh, brings healing to you. They bring, they bring healing to you, okay? So either this water sign is the person that you're moving towards, okay? Um, or this water sign is picking up and moving towards you, but they heal you. They heal from, you know, we have temperance here. They balance out your emotions when you get these feelings of being taken advantage of or being cheated on or lied to or hurt in any way. Why is this nine of pentacles here, please, spirit? Yeah. You see this person, Virgo, as very beautiful and very successful. You see this person as very beautiful and very successful. Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancer energy. Why is the sun here, please? And you want to move towards them, Virgo. You want to move towards this energy. Why is the five of swords here, please? Yeah, it gives you anxiety, but I feel that, Virgo, you may feel anxiety that this person is going to leave you. Why is the nine of swords here, please? Hermit. Yeah, Virgo. I feel that you want to withdraw from one connection because you feel like a person is going to leave you. Why is the Three of Swords here, please? 
We've got the King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, and the Ten of Cups. So guys, I feel like you passionately, passionately want this beautiful Ten of Cups commitment with this person. Or some of you can be finding out that someone here has a family. So guys, let me just recap. There's three people here. One person, you're basically paying attention to the red flags and seeing that one situation's not working. And with another person, you want a deeper commitment with them. One person, you see them as abundant, beautiful, sexy, successful. And the other person, you're seeing as a liar or cheater, someone who wants to steal from you, someone who's out to hurt you, someone who's taking from you. And you want to leave this person because you're afraid that this person that you find to be beautiful and attractive or whatnot is going to leave you. So you guys want to really shoot forward and just impuls impulsively jump in and go towards this person that, um, that, that you are happy with. Yeah. All right. So let's see what's going on with your person, Virgo. So here we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Enough said. Okay, and here we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Interesting. Okay, let's see what we have going on here. We have the chariot, Cancerian energy, the seven of pentacles. We have the strength card. We have the ace of cups, and we have the four of cups. So Virgo, your person, your person wants to move towards you. We have that chariot. So you guys both want to move towards each other. Okay. I'm feeling very strong water energy here. Um, and, and you guys both feel the soulmate connection. You guys both want to be with each other, but your person here is taming their emotions. Okay. They're taming their emotions. Um, we have codependency here with the seven of pentacles. So Virgo, your person may feel that you're very codependent on them financially. Okay? You may, they may feel that you're very codependent on them financially. And with the Ace of Cups and the Four of Cups, they may feel like they want this new beginning in love with you, but it's also very draining, okay? It feels like they're giving, 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 and getting nothing back. And you know why they're not getting anything back, Virgo? Because there's another party, person in the picture. There's another person in the picture. Why is the chariot card here, please, spirit? Yeah, we have the high priestess, Cancerian, Piscean energy. Um, somebody here wants to move towards somebody because they're just infatuated with them. They're, the, this person is, is uh, spiritual, secretive, mysterious. Why is the strength card here, please? Yeah, someone here is taming their emotions towards the soulmate connect. Well, not someone. I feel like your person is taming their emotions here. Why is the high priestess here, spirit? Oh, two cards. Yeah. They want to move towards you, Virgo. This person does want to move towards you, the Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, but there's a lot of obstacles that this person is facing before they can actually move towards you, Virgo. Or there's a lot of challenges just in general for you guys to be together. There's like a blockage. Why is the two of cups here, please, spirit? <coughs> yeah. And the blockage here, uh, again, it could be children. It could be children. Um, or it could be, um, it could be that this person has very little to offer. Virgo, your person, um, you know, may feel like they're taming their emotions about offering this, you know, deeper commitment, okay? They're trying to, to you know, tame their emotions about it. They, they want to shoot towards you, but they're reserved about it. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here, please, Spirit? Yeah. So they're not really communicating anymore, Virgo, about, you know, building with you. They're not communicating with building with you, Virgo, because there's something else in the picture here. There's something else in the picture here. Uh, it could be drugs. It could be another person. It could be something else. But there's something else going on here, Virgo. Why is the Ace of Cups here, please, Spirit? Yeah. 
Yeah, Virgo, I think your person is tired and they're not even thinking about giving this any more chances anymore. Like they want to offer you their love, Virgo, but they're getting tired. Someone here is getting tired. Why is the Four of Cups here, please? Yeah. I feel like you're off that your person feels like they're offering you a lot. They're giving you everything they can. See, they're they're offering you um it's their wish fulfillment to give you what they can. They might not be able to give much, but you know, they feel like they whatever they give to you, you just like pour it down the drain, okay? Um so this person feels like they're giving, giving, giving and it's just like it's never enough. It's never enough. Whatever they're giving, it's just like no end. Like you, you just want more and more and more. Um, that's how they're feeling, okay? Now, we have the tower here. So this may turn into a tower moment, guys. Scorpionic energy. But let's remember the tower is not all doom and gloom, okay? This tower falls so that it can be rebuilt on a firmer foundation. And whatever problems are occurring in this connection can be rebuilt with illumination. What's crossing the situation is the magician. Someone here is trying to, you know, be a manipulator. Someone here is trying to manipulate a situation. Yeah. So we have here the Five of Cups and the Empress. Yeah, you see? Someone is going to lose this Empress. So Virgo, it could be you losing somebody or it could be your person lo losing you. But someone here feels really guilty and really bad. And, you know, they just feel like, you know, they've lost something. Someone here is mourning the fact that this new beginning isn't going to happen. Yeah. King of Swords, Knight of Swords. We have someone here who's emotionally disconnected and trying to be strategic about moving forward towards this connection. They're conflicted about moving towards. You see here, they're conflicted about walking away and leaving. Okay. We've got the Knight of Pentacles and I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands here. Virgo energy and uh, Leo energy I'm feeling here. It could be Aries. It could be Sagittarius. But honestly, guys, I feel like you're in a very committed relationship and you're very conflicted about moving towards what you're passionate about you're just waiting you're just waiting to start this new beginning that this new you know what i'm saying you're waiting here oh boy virgo all right guys so let's go ahead and take this into the extent yeah see under the deck here we've got the lover's card and the moon card we've got a lover someone here needing to choose between lovers and waiting and waiting to break someone's heart because someone someone here is going to get their 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 heart broken we have someone who's manipulating a situation okay with a third party energy there with the six of cups but i feel like the truth is going to come out the truth is going to come out and someone here is going to be left in the cold someone is going to be left out in the cold someone's going to be you know someone's going to be shut out someone here is definitely losing something Okay. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and take this into the extended because this is very juicy. <laughs> I want I'm nosy and I want to know what's going to happen. Okay. So we'll take it into the extended. We'll do a whole nother tower reading to see what the outcome here is going to be. And we'll pull some, um, uh, Oracle cards for some clarity and guidance. Okay. Um, guys, if this resonated, please be sure to like, don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win. And don't forget the holiday sale, $10 off a 15 minute reading, $20 off a 30 minute reading. Um, you can go to my website to book a reading at www.thetarotoflight.com. All right, guys, I'll see you in the extended. Take care.